CarPlay is very easy to set up, but if you need a little help, in this video we're going to show you how to do just that, and we'll also give you a walkthrough of the interface. For this video, we are going to be using the new 2017 Buick Regal with its IntelliLink system. However, it should work fairly similar in any car that you have, as long as it supports CarPlay. First, we need to make sure the car is on its accessory mode. It can be running, but it has to be in park, or else it won't let you do this. After you have the system on, you can plug in a USB cable into the USB port in your car. Then take the other end and plug that into your device. Next, it may automatically launch on your car, but with the Buick and its IntelliLink, you need to go to the menu and select the mirroring option, and that is how you access CarPlay. After that, CarPlay is automatically set up. You don't need to agree to anything. Everything is already ready, and every app that you already have on your device will automatically be set up and installed on CarPlay. From there, you can access all of the things, such as phone, messages, maps, music, and any other third-party apps that support it. Inside of the phone app, Siri will automatically activate having you say who you want to call. You can also go ahead and click the Show Contacts button, and you can view your favorites, recents, contacts, enter in a number manually, and also listen to voicemails. Music will take you into traditional Apple Music style. You can view your playlist, your saved songs, and other ones that are recommended for you and also browse some of the new songs on Apple Music. Map, you can view your current location. You can view destinations by clicking the destinations button. You can search for stuff using Siri. And then back on the home page, we can go ahead and move around the map using the controls. Now, if you want to go to a location, you can use Siri to do that and will also give you turn-by-turn -turn directions along your route. Messages will automatically ask you, using Siri, who you want to send a message to and what that will be, but you can go ahead and hit Show Messages, and that will list everybody that you've contacted with, and you can then write a message to them. Now Plane will show you what is currently playing, and if there is nothing playing, it will take you right to the music app. Podcasts and audiobooks are fairly similar, it'll just show you any podcast or audiobook that you have on your device. And then from that, we have our third-party apps. So as you can see right here, I have iHeartRadio, and that's the only app I have installed on this device that does support CarPlay. But if you have more, you will have multiple pages of apps where you can access their interface. But that's going to do me for this video. If you guys have any questions about CarPlay, feel free to leave them in the comment section below. Thank you guys so much for watching. As always, feel free to hit that subscribe button for more videos like this. This is Mark with iOptic128, and have a great day.